Sailing Star of India today employs the same maneuvers as those used on her for over a hundred years. For example, when we change course by turning into the wind, it's still called tacking. Here, we're sailing with the wind on our right, or the starboard side. To change direction so the wind is on our left, or port side, the captain will have to bring the ship about by tacking. Working through his mast captains and crew, the skipper will use his sails to turn the ship clockwise into the wind. The rudder helps as a trim tab. The spanker sail, in back, is hauled against the wind, pushing the stern downwind. Ease your head, soul sheets! Up front, easing the headsails relieves the pressure on the bow, allowing it to turn upwind. Rise, tacks and sheets! On the floor! Ease your tacks! Ease your sheets! Releasing and raising the two lowest sails, the foresail and mainsail, frees the upper yards so that they can be turned. The spanker is hauled to windward, pushing the stern down to leeward. The sails stacked on the foremast and mainmast lose their drive as the spanker pushes the stern around. Mainsail haul! On mainsail haul, one crew hauls and the other eases the yards on the mainmast so that they rotate. Timing is everything. Headed into the wind, the sails on the foremast create a windbreak so the main stack can be brought around. As the ship pivots on its axis, the main sails are repositioned for the new course when the wind will be coming from the left or port side of the ship. Back your headsail sheets! Backing the headsails helps to push the bow around in a clockwise rotation. Approaching head to wind, the ship may stop or even begin to go backwards. Helm amidships! We're now head to wind, and can we complete the tack? We're dead in the water, and this is the moment of truth. The compass tells us we are still clocking right, turned by the spanker and headsails. It will be the captain's call if we can make it around. Good. Let go and haul! Let go and haul signals the foremast crew to bring their stack around to the new course. If timed just right, the sail should begin to fill with wind coming from the left or port side. If called too soon, the tack will fail. Enormous weights and forces are at work. If this maneuver were to be done in high winds, loss of control could result in dismasting and possibly injuries to the crew. Once safely across the wind, the turning function of the backed headsails is no longer needed, and they are crossed over to the new side. Hauled tight, they will balance the spanker and join in powering the ship. Now the foresail and mainsail are simultaneously reset, and the ship begins to pick up speed on her new course. The spanker has been brought across, and the other sails are reset. Timing's been perfect. Under these conditions, the tack took only five minutes, and the mate can be proud of his crew. That was the lightest wind tack that we've ever done on this ship. Absolutely wonderful. Bringing a square rigger about by tacking into the wind has always been a challenge. It is one of the most demanding maneuvers performed by the Star of India. Square riggers, like Star of India, usually prefer to change direction by turning downwind through a maneuver called wearing. Stand by to wear a ship! 
Stand by to take in the spanker. The mizzen mist captain must first take in his gaff topsail so the spanker crew can be ready for the next command, where o Where-o! Hard right rudder! As a rudder starts to turn, the spanker is brought in, easing the upwind pressure on the stern and allowing the headsails to push the front or bow downwind. The mainsail is also hauled up, allowing more breeze to reach the foresail. As the sails in front push the ship into its downwind turn, the wind on the left, or port side, will begin to move aft, coming more and more from behind. With the ship continuing to turn, the crew slowly rotates the yards so that the sails are always kept square to the wind. So, when the wind comes from directly behind, the yards will be squared across the ship. As the turn continues, the spanker boom is crossed over and the wind will now begin to come in from the right or starboard side. Slowly, the star rounds up onto her new course and additional sails can be set. Set your spanker! Set your mainsail! The spanker and its topsail are reset. The headsails are crossed to the new side. Once steady on course, other sails are set, filling nicely with a fair starboard breeze. We have completed our wear, turning downwind from port to starboard. So, to change direction, by bringing the bow through the eye of the wind, we employ a maneuver called tacking. Or, we can change course by turning downwind through a maneuver called wearing. As in the past, turning a square rigger by tacking into the wind or through a downwind wear calls for old-fashioned seamanship. Sailing Star of India today means preserving not only this marvelous old vessel, but continuing the long tradition and skills of those who have sailed her before and of the age she represents. <laughs>